Okay, I am going to show you how to build a radio transmitter detector. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that uh, when you have any type of electromagnetic waves, we can think of it like this. It's a wave with a changing electric field. That's a terrible picture. So that's the electric field that's changing. We'll call that E. But there's also a magnetic field. See, I don't say which way it's goes, so it's fine. Uh, like this, B. So this is why it's called an electromagnetic wave. It has both a changing electric and a changing magnetic field. We can detect the changing magnetic field with a coil of wire like this. There's a coil of wire. So if I have a loop of wire, let's say it goes around multiple times, like that, and then I have a magnetic field through there, and that magnetic field is changing, that induces a voltage across here and you get a current out of there. So the, this coil of loop, loop of wire picks up a changing magnetic field. Now there should be a, an electric field also, but we're not detecting that directly. So let's go ahead and build this. It's not too difficult to build. I'm going to start with this. This is a old computer speaker, and it's already plugged in. Um, this one has two wires. That one actually cut for something else. And then this part goes into your uh, computer. So this is has an amplifier in it, so it takes a small electrical signal going into these three plugs in here. Actually, that's because there's two channels. We only need two of those. So we're going to connect a coil to this and see what happens. So I'm going to start off with my coil. This is the coil I'm going to use. If you look at this carefully, this wire is called magnet wire. And it's called magnet wire because you can use it to make electromagnets. It has this, you can see that red coating on there? That's enamel. So that when we wrap it like this, it doesn't touch itself and it forces the current to go into a loop. This means that if I move a magnet into here or changing magnetic field in here, each one of those loops will experience a uh, voltage and so this will all add up and it'll make it stronger. So what you need to do if you want to use magnet wire, you actually have to shave off shave off the coating on the end of the wire. I've already done that, I scraped it off with a knife. So I'm going to use this as my loop. Now the next thing that you might want, you don't have to have them, but I like these uh, been these alligator clip cables. See, they look like an alligator, right? Now what I'm going to do, this allows me to connect things a little bit easier. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to connect one alligator clip to the middle connector in there and then one to the tip. So you don't want them to touch, so I'm just going to touch this right there. And that black spacer, you don't want to go over that. Now I'm going to take my other one and connect it to the top part. Like that. Now, I don't want these two to touch, so I'm actually going to move this up a little bit. Okay, so let's just put that to the side. Now I'm going to take my two wires here and connect them to my coil. I'm already starting to get some noise, and that's from the, uh, there's, there's electromagnetic noise all around us because of the, I'm inside of a building, and that's 60 hertz noise, so you hear that all the time. Okay, so there, I have it connected. Now, we don't hear anything, but let me show you how this works. I'm going to take a magnet. Here is a super tiny magnet. Okay, watch this. Nothing happened. Let me take a bigger magnet. This is a bigger magnet. See, it's making... By changing the magnetic field, I'm inducing a current and you're getting a... That's the noise from this. See if I turn that off. So you can hear the difference. So that changing magnetic field is inducing a current and the amplifier in the speaker is picking it up. Okay, so let, we, need, we need a radio source right now that we can pick up. So I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to make another radio source. I'm going to take another coil of wire. This is uh, something else that you may find. This is just... Uh, what you would think of as, as more commonly uh, wire, but it does have rubber on it, and I do need to get that off, so let's do that. I'm going to take my, I like to use the scissors on here, 
they're my favorite part if I can find there they are scissors okay so what I want to do is just cut around this in a circle not cut through the wire though cut through the rubber and then just kind of pull it off and if you get it started a little bit it's not so hard you get a little break in it and then you can get your thumbnail in there and just kind of jerk it off got it okay now this one is I actually fortunately have a little bit of the wire sticking out the other end so I definitely don't want to cut this or I'm gonna be in big trouble almost got it oh. almost got it you can also kind of like use the scissors to pull it off there we go okay so now I'm gonna take this I'm gonna hook this to another cable here is another uh, wire and I actually have the other end plugged into my computer and so I have four wires in here but I'm gonna take each one of these wires and connect it so let's get some more um, clips oops I have my phone mounted right there I don't want to drop it so let's take this one and connect it to this and then I'm going to take the other wire where's my other wire? here it is and I'm going to connect it to the other end so now I have two loops of wire so this loop is connected to my computer and I'm playing royalty free music that I found on YouTube and so that's going to uh, run a changing current through this coil and I'm going to pick it up with this coil that's right on top of it. So let me play the music. So you're not hearing, that's coming from this, see look. And now if I move this away. So this coil is making a changing magnetic field. This coil is detecting that changing magnetic field. Is that cool? So there's your radio detector. So in the MacGyver episode, he uses a, uh, a public announcement speaker thing. Uh, that has the amplifier in it. That's the key thing. You need the amplifier and the coil of wire to detect these changing magnetic fields that go with the changing electric fields. And there you go. Very simple build because all you need is some coil of wire and some type of speaker like this, and you can play around with it. You could take this and go see if you could detect some other sources around the house. Um, you got to get pretty close. Uh, in order to detect it but and it has to have a frequency that you could hear so if it's uh, you know 50,000 Hertz you can't hear that but there you go building an electromagnetic detector